Okay, so today we are going to go see that um, how we can integrate over PX4 with uh, um, move base and uh, path planning, obstacle avoidance, navigation, autonomous uh, flight, and all those topics. So for that, simply we need to launch uh, some files here. Well, we need to launch this plugin first. Then we are going to open this source devil setup dot and then we are going to write here. Rose Slam Planner and so it's look like that and then we are going to open another terminal and we're gonna write Always launch here. So this is then Arvis here. So the moment we explore the map is gonna create it. There are some uh, plugin uh, field here. We need to figure this out. I mean, these are just options to show. I mean, if, if we come here and if we see the panels, you can display panel here. From here, you can see that right now, map graph and robot model because we are not using uh, URDF. That's why there is no robot model can be added here. The point cloud maps plugin missing. Otherwise, everything works here. Here everything works too and if we go here and open up the control here is our ground control actually and then we can come here and then we can fly over drone and start taking map of this so if I just run take off it's going to arm the drone and it's going to take off the drone and well we need to somehow intervene here so it should come little down here not too far and on this environment if we we need to look that where is the where is the actually face of drone well face of drone is on our side we can just oh, we can just actually rotate the face of drone bit in any direction to completely okay great now if we run forward here it should come a little bit okay so this is forward in our case now so we'll just come into the center so this is actually this is forward this is backward and this is the other directions now we can keep exploring and 
we can see here that it's somehow creating a, a map of whatever it sees in front of it here. So these are the uh, racks actually, and these are the things on the rack. So we need to see that odometry works or not. So the odometry quality now is zero, but uh, with all the passage of time, it's going to increase. And uh, we're going to explore this map completely, and then we can save it. So that, this is what actually we need. That's all actually we need here. So some things, there are some problems in this map. We are going to test this actually that uh, after saving this map on Arviz, you can see here that this is gonna actually create a complete map after it. All the TF communication should be okay. Okay, great. TF communication is good here. All the frames are good here. We should somehow enable all the frames. All the rotor and frames spot. Yeah, well. So we can disable everything, but this is the base link base link if all these and that this is that this is all down here we can just see your own topic so this is the center of the map somehow here we can see tree of everything everything is connected to map and then map is connected to the dome and base link is connected to all those sensors if we see the tree here that works, IMU works, so we need to somehow figure out the, if you see here it's uh, showing whatever in front of it and then we can keep actually scrolling. So that it see each and everything. We need to go a little forward here to see it very closely. You can do also with this joystick or gaming pad or whatever you have available. But for that, you need to install some joy package in Rose Nautic and some stuff to control it. So, the most important thing here is that um, creating the map, saving the map, and then loading the map into Arvis and in. in, in in gazebo environment and then this map should be used as a cost map layers and uh, local plan and global planners dw and nf and nav f and F, like all the navigation stack of rows one and then if we uh, give the command to our drone to go somewhere now it should be able to then avoid the obstacle via global and local planner so yeah that's that's all